So we're very, very apprehensive. The question was how much do I make? We're very, very apprehensive to say what we make. But I think that if I was in grade 10, 11, and 12, and I was looking at what success is, I, th I, I, I think that we should hear it. But, uh, so I make millions of dollars a year. Uh, here's a phone number. But I have expenses, but nobody feels sorry for Bob, and Charles insulted me with six figures. <laughs> but, 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 you know, the question is, if you take the art, you take what Dave just said, it, it's what you do with the money. So we spend a lot of time on philanthropy. I, 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 I know for a fact in December that we gave five different organizations over $100,000. Because you have to give back. But with the art, I, there's no reason for me to go to work unless I had a passion or unless I had an outcome. And that's why I say, if your parents tell you to be a dentist, unless you're really infatuated with gold and porcelain and fillings and looking in people's mouths, and you really think that you're, you're changing the world, or you're going to go do it in the Afro, or wherever you're going to go, I, I, you have to be passionate about what you do. So I'm really, really fortunate. But I can tell you the other side, when I formed Renny uh, and Associates, I, uh, so the, the firm that sells houses, there's 90 people that work for it today, my son owns it. Uh, from 1988 to 1992, I lost $20,000 a month. And I lost $20,000 a month, I was probably making 21000 because I wanted to be a brand and I invested everything back in. But nobody ever wants to tell you the hard luck stories. I wiped out my family completely in the stock market in 1992. My, 1982, my wife went in to have our first son, and I had to move the house and give up a very fancy home on Burnaby Mountain and move into a rental. But those were the hard knocks along the way. But my thing is that I think I'm 10,000 times ahead of where I should be. I think most of us in this room are 100 times ahead of where you should be. If you travel, you look around the world, and you just be thankful for it. So I'm not afraid to go broke. And that's a very dangerous trait in a person. Because it, 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 I feel I have nothing left to lose because I have amazing stories to tell and I can work at Starbucks for. <laughs>